Grand Rising, everyone. How are you today? It's the Orion Star Seed. Happy New Year. How are you? This video is for my Taurus. How are you, my Taurus individuals? Grand Rising. Um, this is for Taurus's February 2019 predictions. Happy New Year, Taurus. Um, how was your holiday? Mine was great. Um, I did a lot. I ate a lot. I spent a lot of time with my family. Um, and I read a lot. And just like I said with all my videos, this is what I read. And the reason why I'm, I'm promoting this woman's book, I'm telling you because this book is just astounding, man. I'm telling you, you've got to read this book. If you are a reader like myself and you want something to stimulate your mind or if you're into anything that's metaphysical or like sci-fi or anything that is um, regarding aliens, UFOs or anything like that, this is where you want to... Um, go. Um, Legacy from the Stars is by Dolores Cannon. She is a past life regression hypnotherapist. She um, started doing this back in the 1970s between her and her husband. And I think her husband passed away, but even after that, she continued to keep doing this. And she wrote numerous books, and her books was pretty much built around the cases that she has done this with. She literally dives or delves into the subconscious and what she does is she does do past life regression but she goes deeper. And she um like kind of dives deeper into like the existence of humanity when she speaks to subconscious and where we come from and you know where did it all begin. And I'm telling you she's amazing. She wrote a lot of books um regarding this same, you know, um information um I think one of her books was Death After Life, The Convoluted Universe. She did four volumes of that, as well as Keepers of the Garden, Legacy from the Stars. And she wrote many other books. Um, just amazing. So um, if you're a reader like myself, you want something that, you know, will stimulate you or give you some great information, that is the book you want to read. All right, so how are y'all doing today? What's going on, my Tauruses? How was your holidays? Did you eat as much as I did? God knows I did. Oh my God, did I eat so much. Oh my goodness. But anyway, so if you've watched my videos before, you kind of know how I kind of do my thing. Um, I look at, you know, the relationships, um, predictions, as well as money, and as well as the energetic feel going forward, um, you know, within my reading. And so what I'm going to do, Taurus, is look into your relationships and your money, as well as the energetic skill going into February. I cannot shuffle. February 2019. I don't know why I cannot shuffle. What is going on with me? I have no clue. All right. So let's just go ahead and pull some cards and see what Spirit says. And I want to first start off. Um, you know, this is my interpretation of Spirit. Um, you know, this may not resonate for all, but maybe for most. If you would like your own personal reading, if you would like more in-depth detail of your own personal reading, you can always email me at Orion11, the number 11, starseed at gmail.com. It will also be below in my description. All right, so let's see what's going on with Taurus. What is the first card? So, good Lord, I get the Queen of Swords. Hmm. I get the Page of Wands. Hmm. And I get the Queen of Wands. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see what that's about. What is that about? What is that about, honey? So, Tauruses are an earth sign. So, this Queen of Swords is an air sign woman, is what I'm getting. And then, of course, we get the Page of Wands. Pages um, are normally fire sign, could be children. Um, it can also mean, well, let's just see. Let me just pull some clarifying cards as well. But, um, I also see the Queen of Swords is in the downright. Let me first show you what it looks like in the upright. See, Queen of Swords, so you can see. But it's in the downright. God, every single time, it never, ever fails. I swear to God, every time I do a video, everyone, everybody wants to call me. I don't know what that's about. Hold on. I'm going to do something real quick because I know if I don't do this, then they'll call back and this whole video will just go awry. Anyway. <laughs> 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 yep. 
Yep, there it goes. All right, so anyway, Queen of Swords. So what's going on, Taurus? I see a air sign woman. An air sign woman could be Aquarius, Libra. What's the other one? Aquarius, Libra. What's the other air sign? It's, good Lord, I should be way more, way more on my stuff. Air sign. So I get Gemini. Oh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So what's going on with that? So I see an air sign woman in relationships. What is that about? All right, let's pull a clarifying card. Angel of strength, but it's in the downright. First, let me show you what it looks like. It's kind of pretty, though. All right. So I'm seeing here. Let me just put this down real quick for a second. Hold on. Because I know if I don't do this, then they will call. And then the whole video would just go crazy, crazy, crazy. I need a camera. I need a camera. That's what I need. Anyway, so I'm seeing, um, hmm, hmm, that's weird. Okay, so Taurus, what I am seeing, two things, okay. Now, if you are a Taurus man, I am seeing. weird and like i said these cards are new so these oracle cards i just got these they're really cool though so i'm still trying to kind of get a feel an energetic feel for them hmm. so what i'm seeing is there is a air sign woman okay here we go now I understand what Spirit is showing me. All right, there is some Taurus men that are dealing with a um, with an air sign woman. And what I'm seeing mostly is kind of like an ex who has children. There might be an air sign um, woman that is kind of like, um, you may not be with her anymore, but you may have children with this woman who is opposing you, who is coming against you. Um, who may be um, unscrupulously, I never say that word right, coming against you. Who may be using some um, some tactics that may be um, above the law, like blackmail, emotional blackmail, resentment. She's coming against you in such a way where, like I said, I always say misery loves company. And it's kind of like that. Like It's kind of like if she can't have you then she's going to make your life a living hell. She will use her children against you. She will use any kind of way against you, trying to come against you. That's what I'm feeling. So be very mindful of that, is what Spirit is telling me. Like she, get your stuff legally in order, seriously, because this woman I'm also seeing is, is actually smart. She's a smart woman. This can also be a woman who actually has air sign qualities too. And I'm seeing it mostly as an ex. Someone that is that has you had children with. So this is someone that's going to be in your life. And she's just kind of like um, bitter, like a bitter woman who feels kind of like treated unfairly. Um, she's vindictive and underhanded, manipulative and hostile. But she's mostly bitter. And she will use any kind of tactic to get at you personally. Not because you've done anything to her personally, but it's more so like... Maybe y'all broke up in such a negative way, or maybe she can't get her way in something. What Spirit is telling me, get your legal-ish in order with her, because she's going to try anything and everything. Lies. I'm hearing lies. She will lie on you. She will be, um, you know, maliciously against you. Also, Taurus women, there is a air sign woman that may be spreading some lies against you. I'm hearing it more like, um, like a maybe, I don't know, like this would be more like a, a friend or an ex friend that's coming against you. Okay. And she's going to use anything that she possibly can be very mindful of that. Don't give in to that, but just be mindful of that. There is an air sign woman that means you know well, okay? This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius woman. This woman is smart. 
She's not stupid. She's spreading rumors and she's spreading, um, spreading lies and she opposes you. Someone who is hostile and embittered. You know, she feels like... Um, Almost like if, if you've given her any information of your past, she will be the one to put it all out. And this is all because she feels like she was treated unfairly. So because of that, she's angry. She's willing to put your business out. She's willing to just say anything about you. She does not care. Okay, so be mindful of that. But if, again, this could be an ex, this can be an ex-lover, this can be a, a baby mama whatever you want to call it, but also if you are a Taurus female, this can also be um, an ex-friend. This could be a friend that you, you know, told your, you know, your personal secrets to and who is, that's the one. Like, you might think that they're your friend, but no, that's the one that's putting your business out. You need to watch this particular woman. This woman basically is a real bitch. You think this was your friend, but no, she is not, okay? This is a lonely, bittered, untruthful um, evil woman, okay, and you need to be very, very, she's going to betray you, basically, she's going to betray you, or if she already betrayed you, or if you feel betrayed, this was the reason, she, she was the one, okay, she has betrayed you, or she's going to betray you going into February 2019, because again, this is my predictions going into 2019, she will betray you, okay, be very mindful of that. So be on the lookout for this air sign woman. She will betray you. And she has her guns pointed directly at you. She feels like you treated her unfairly. And she's coming for you, Taurus. Okay? Okay? So just be mindful of that. Now, looking at your money. Again, I told you I got the... Um, hold on. I got the page. The page of wands. Now, wands is, um, you know, fire. Okay? So... And it was in the down, was it in the down right, I think? No, 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 it was in the upright. So that's, it was in the upright. So that's a good thing. It was in the upright. So that's a good thing because this is like a messenger spreading good news, coming your way. What, what's the news that's coming your way, Taurus? And this is about your money. This is about a message about employment. I don't know. Let's see what's going on with that. Let's see. Let me pull some cards. Oh, yes, honey. Oh, yes, a temple path. Do you see that? And then it's two, it's the number 12, and I, I'm, I'm all about numerology, so you add two plus one is three. Three means to create. So I see a lot of Tauruses either getting some type of new employment. This is a message about employment. This page is bringing you messages about new employment or about promotion, leadership. So I do see some Tauruses in 2019 going into February either getting new jobs or getting some type of promotion or let's see here some type of creative potential because remember i just said two plus one is three which means to create so i'm seeing some creative um some creative endeavors for you taurus an opportunity of new growth a career change that's what i'm seeing it's all about career change sweetheart um and this is for both male and female so taurus is Again, this may not resonate for all, but I'm seeing it for some. This is about a new job. So I see some Tauruses going into a new job, honey. And it's going to be good for some Tauruses going into February 2019. I see some Tauruses. Um, oh, drop a card. Oh, got to go get it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but yes. Oh, but I got to pick that up. So. All right. Okay. Okay, but well, let's just talk about this job real quick, and I'm going to get to that card that I just dropped. Anytime I drop a card, I have to take it, right? So, okay, so yeah, I do see some new employment. I do see some promotion. I do see leadership coming your way for some Tauruses, whether it be male or female. I do see some business opportunities coming your way, okay? That is a good thing. So I do see that it's, money is not going to be looking funny for some Tauruses going into February 2019, and that is a good thing. But let's go into the energetic field. For Tauruses, I see a fire sign woman who ain't playing no games, honey. Okay? This could be Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. And then I get the hostility card. Remember I just said she ain't playing no games and she's coming to win. Now, Taurus, let's talk. Let's talk. Because I'm a Leo. Alright? And this is, this resonates with me so, 
so very, very, very much. And I'm about to give you an explanation why. But first, let me just talk about this and I'm going to tell you why this resonates with me. Because I'm a Leo. Okay, so there's going to be... Let me tell you something. Energetically, I feel there's going to be some Tauruses that's going to be up against a fire sign woman. And this woman ain't playing no game. She's strong and she's coming to fight. My advice to you would be to back down. Seriously, it's not that serious. And what I'm also feeling, this is going to be a fight that you initiated. Taurus. Now, your key word for Taurus is because you are an earth sign and your symbol is the bull. So y'all are like charged, ready to go. Boom, boom, boom. Ready to go. Let me tell you something. Okay, you're going to lose this one. You will lose with this fire sign woman because she is ready to fight. Do you see this? And what I'm also feeling energetically is that that the fight started with you. OK, but this pick and choose your battles wisely is what I'm hearing in my head. And, and I'm not saying this off, and I'm not being biased. I mean, the cards are what they are. And the reason why I say this, okay, is because of this. Because if you see, she's ready to fight. But she has a smirk on her face, if you see that. She's ready to go. She's ready to go. She's, I mean, she's, she's kind of leisurely just kind of laying like, hmm, here we go. But then I get the clarifying card saying, I might be sitting like this, but girl, don't play. Because I got my swords ready. So, Taurus, what I'm saying about this is sometimes we have to pick and choose our battles, okay? Going into February 2019, there's going to be some Taurus, Tauruses that will be dealing with a... And this is I'm feeling this more for um, Taurus females. Like, okay, so your key word is possess. Y'all are very possessive, okay? Um, and sometimes there are some Taurus women who... Like, okay, like a bull. Y'all just charge. Y'all are just ready to charge. Y'all don't see. Y'all don't hear. Y'all just go. And then after the smoke's clear, then you're like, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, well, this, this fight right here, you will lose. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, you don't want to bring hostilities going into 2019. Okay, you just don't. You don't want to do it. Um, you just don't. The reason why I say this resonates with me, and I thought this was so funny that this popped up, is because... Um, my ex-husband has a wife who is a Taurus, and um, she does deal with some mental health issues, so my heart does kind of break for her in a way. I, I, I kind of like, you know, try to be as empathetic as I, I try to show as much empathy as I possibly can with her because of her situation, and you know, she's a human being just like, just like I am, and she's a mom just like I am, so I try to be as empathetic as I possibly can with her. But sometimes she's just like a bull. She just charges and sometimes doesn't realize or or understand sometimes. It's just her way or no way. Like a bull. She don't ask any questions. She just charges sometimes. And, you know, and sometimes Leos, we just sit back and we just watch things. We just sit back and watch. But a lion will sit back and watch. But if we got to fight... We will fight. But spirit is showing me, kind of confirming to me too as well, because I'm Leo and she's a Taurus and blah, 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 that this is a battle that she will not win. <laughs> Looking at my chickens in the back. They're so crazy. Um, but this is a battle that she will not win. So Taurus, you know, if this is a fight that you've initiated with this Taurus woman, this is a fight you will not win. Sometimes it just, it doesn't, it doesn't involve all that, okay? Talk it out. You know what I mean? Let it go. Sometimes ego and stubbornness can get in the way. And it's really just not that serious. You know, Leo women, we are fiery, but, but we are also, we can be just like a little kitty cat. See, she's a Leo woman, but look who's sitting in her lap, a little kitty cat. You know, we, you know Leo women can be like little kitty cats. You know, we can talk it out. We have understanding. We have logic. Maybe not all Leo women do, but you know, I'm a Leo woman and I know that I do. And most of the Leo women that I've met, you know, are like that. But we will fight. You know, we are a fire sign. We burn it up. Leave it alone. Just let it go. Let it go. Don't be scorched earth. Because remember, you know, Taurus is an earth sign. Leos are a fire sign. You don't want to, to deal with scorched earth. To put that fire out. Talk it out. Let it go. 2019, why do you want to bring hostilities into 2019 when 
you can turn it around. Turn it around. Get out of your head and your ego, Taurus. This may not resonate for all, but it, I know for sure it will resonate with most. Let it go. Let it go is what spirit is telling. Let it go. It's not that serious. Talk it out. Pick and choose your battles. Okay? And that is what spirit is showing me. And it's so funny that that, that came up because, wow, wow. I mean, wow. That's all I'm going to say about that. But, yes, yeah, so that's the reading that I get for y'all, Taurus. I mean, there's going to be some Tauruses that are going to deal with a air sign woman that um, that means you know well, no good. You know, it's just as easy as just deleting a phone number out your phone. Delete that person out your life because this particular air sign, whether it's going to or someone with air sign qualities, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with those particular qualities, let it go. She's, you know, this woman is going to betray you. Also, there's going to be some Taurus um, individuals that will ha will be coming into some money, coming into a new job, leadership opportunities, creative opportunities, creative abilities, new jobs, um, new employment, definitely. And then also, you know, whatever you got going on with this fire sign woman or this woman with fire sign qualities, it's not that serious. Let it go because you will lose. You will lose. It's going to be more of a headache than it will of gaining anything. So let it go. All right, Taurus, so I hope that resonated with most. Um, if not, if you would like your own personal reading, you can definitely email me at Orion11, the number 11, starseed at gmail.com. It's also going to be below in the description box. All right, peace and light. Have a wonderful day.